What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to American Horror Story Season 4 Episode 3, which is titled Edward More Drake Part 1. Oh, so it's a part one. I guess we're getting one of those uh, two-parter episodes, which they like to do those in, in these seasons. I think kind of did last season, but they didn't actually title it Part 1 and Part 2, but obviously they did in the first two seasons. So yeah, let's just jump right into this. I'm really enjoying this season so far. It's very, very unique, very different than the other seasons. And if you want to see the full cut reaction, that'll be my Patreon. I'll link to that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. For these poor souls, Halloween must have come as a great relief. Oh, is this going to be a Halloween episode? Always got to have those every season. Dr. Mansfield. Ms. Hemmings, have you met my oh, lab shit. assistant, Ms. Rothschild? That's, that's, that's the Spalding actor, right? Oh, and Emma Roberts. <laughs> I noticed him before. <laughs> these poor people doomed to lie here and be gawked at all day. They were losers in life. At least now they have some value. Damn. Yes, uh, about your double degree, we called Harvard, asking after a Sylvester Mansfield, and they have no record of you. Did you know that it's a felony to sell a fraudulent medical specimen? Oh, shit. I brought you an authentic baby Sasquatch. It is a fetal goat with the jaw <laughs> of a cat sewn onto it. He's a fraud. If you brought me something authentic, something truly priceless, I, well, I wouldn't ask many questions. Without new exhibits, even our most loyal patrons would rather stay at home and watch Ed Sullivan. Where does this stuff come from? Private collectors. And, and you know, I used to get calls from freak shows when one of theirs would pass, but they're mostly gone now. Mm. Just maybe one or two. Coney Island and South Florida. South Florida's the one we know about. What's this over here? The conjoined liver of famed Siamese twins, Chang <laughs> and A. How much is that worth? $5,000. Damn, especially back then, that's a lot of money. Well, we have to catch, catch our train. plane. Oh. <laughs> Coney Island's a little cold this time of year. They're going to Florida. Always love the Halloween episodes. I feel like, honestly, the Halloween episodes are usually the best ones. <laughs> Go up and get some candy. I want to win. <laughs> what was that all about? She's terrified of clowns. So guess what her brother dressed as? <laughs> Oh, don't tell me the, the goddamn killer clown's gonna be out here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesse, I saw a clown. It was a really scary one. Remember what we talked about? How sometimes we can get confused because of our imagination? He was real. It's Halloween, Jesse. There's clowns everywhere. I swear I'll never understand that girl. I find clowns delightful. <laughs> Until you get killed by this killer clown. Oh, shit. This feels like it's paying homage to Halloween, the movie. You tested positive for cirrhosis of the liver. Oh, shit. We can fix her up, can't we? I don't think so. I ain't touched a drop since Jimmy's 18th birthday. Well, you could have had this for a long time. Oh, she used to be an alcoholic? Ain't gonna die anytime soon, Emma. I never liked that question. Damn. I believe hope is a strong medicine. I don't like to tell patients to uh, give up hope. Well, then you should have just, you should have just said she'll be fine then. You, you saying that probably worries her. But I guess he doesn't want to lie as well. So I guess that's fair. Give it to me straight. Hell on book up. Damn. Anywhere from six months to Six a months. I got a feeling she's going to be dead by the end of this series or the season. Shit, shit, shit. Ain't nothing we can do, huh? Don't take a single drop of alcohol. That'll only accelerate things. I just couldn't be... More sorry, really. I ain't crying cause you told me I'm gonna die. I'm crying cause you're the, f you're the first doctor ever treat me with respect. Damn. I gotta say this might be my favorite character. She, she's been great so far. Stop it, what's wrong with you all? Meep is dead. Don't you care? You're being disrespectful. Maybe dedicating the show today to his memory. The show? It's Halloween. You, you don't do the show on Halloween? Halloween. Any idiot knows that. All right, well, 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 she, well she's new. Like. Why we don't perform on Halloween on accounts of Edward Mordrake. Who? What? That's the name of the episode. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> so what was wrong with him? He had another face on the back of his head. Oh, shit. <laughs> but it whispered to Edward incessantly of things only spoken of reminds me of uh, Voldemort <laughs> he tried to kill it wow it wouldn't die he went mad his family had him committed at a crazy house at Bedlam Edward escaped asylum 
Damn. And he ended up where we all do at the freak show. He wasn't happy. One Halloween night, Edward snipped. He murdered every freak in the troop. Damn. Then he hung himself. Holy shit. Oh, that is creepy, bro. It's still, that is terrifying. We don't perform on Halloween night out of respect. Out of fear, darling. If any freak performs on Halloween, they summon the spirit of Edward Mordrake. Oh, is it just a superstition or does it actually like the case? Enough. Yeah, was she about to, is she drinking? Wait, you were just told not to. Oh my God, she's giving up. Ma, you swore off this stuff. Well, I'm swearing back on. God damn. Why do I gotta be a bird this year? Because <laughs> Woody Woodpecker is Dandy's favorite cartoon. Have you practiced? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? She's not having it. I, I don't think, I don't blame her. <laughs> Ring out Dandy's costume. Dora worked on it for a month with my guidance, of course. Howdy doody. <laughs> Is he happy or? Howdy doody! You ungrateful oh, Dora, Daddy doesn't like his cup. He will make it never. There's not time for that. Your mother might be afraid of you, but I'm not. <laughs> well, I'll miss you, Meep. Here's to you, Meep. You see a little something to lighten the load as you walk through the Valley of the Shadows. Are those more chicken heads? We're closed. There's no show today. Oh, shit. I'm not a customer. I'm looking for a job. My name is Mystic Miss Esmeralda. I'm a fortune teller. <laughs> what the hell is this? I never agreed to this. What the hell is this? It's gotta be a dream, right? Yeah, this has gotta be Betty's dream. Well, I guess a nightmare. I beg of you. Come backwards from Please the don't. <laughs> Thank you, God. You're making me separate and whole. Yeah, she's got to be fearing for that her whole life. Worried that Dot will want that. I was having the most beautiful dream. Why did you wake me? God because damn. Because I was trapped inside that dream, and for me, it was a nightmare. Oh, it was the same dream? I'm going to work hard, save my money, and find a doctor who will do that surgery. She really does want it. Shit, man. One of us has a chance at happiness. What if it goes to shit, though, and you end up getting killed? Because I feel like that is a hard surgery to do, right? It's got to be difficult. In the past, you suffered a grave injustice, all because of greed and jealousy. A woman, she looks like you. Music. So clear, so... She knows how to manipulate. <laughs> but I can hear another song now. The future. It's your song, Elsa, and it's... It's the most heartbreaking music I've ever heard. The applause sounds like thunder for me. Is there still a chance? It's never too late. I see a man standing behind you. An, an elegant, refined stranger with dark hair and, and piercing eyes. Okay. Let's get the blood rushing to other places. <laughs> Heard it all before. Too much hooch. Too tired. Too cold. <laughs> get more satisfaction. Too many excuses. You should be kissing my boots. I deserve some goddamn respect. God damn. She's drinking still. Come on. Ooh, somebody's mad at somebody. <laughs> Fight with triple tits. Hey, come on. Sit down, share some hooch. I got a favor to ask. Drunk and asking for favors? It's not the FYI seem to remember. What's the fight about anyway? Couldn't get it up. <laughs> what was their problem, you think? You got a beard for starters. When we conceived Jimmy, you didn't love me at all? Nah. Don't you know the men will jump on the first available pussy? Yeah, I don't I don't know about most of the men. Maybe maybe, I don't know, but <laughs> He is never, ever to know you're his pa. Never. Oh, he doesn't know? I didn't even realize he doesn't know. 
Why'd you leave me on? I led you on for about five minutes. Damn, he's terrible. But yeah, I said the other episode, I thought perhaps uh, he didn't know who his father was. Uh, I guess I was right. I'm dying. Yep. Danny Luck, it'll be sooner than later. He's going to need some guidance. Not from Dell. <laughs> Keep an eye on him, for Christ's sake. I don't think this guy could be decent, but you could try. You know what I was wondering this morning? What it would have been like if I'd have stuck around, seen him grow up, seen him put on his little Halloween outfit. What do you like dressing up as? He always want to be the same thing. He wanted to be a soldier. So he just left, I presume. Like, I don't I don't know exactly what made them broke, break off. I mean, it seemed like he never loved her in the first place, but I'm assuming he just left after she got pregnant. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? He wants to be the clown. Fucking Dandy wants to be the clown. He's taking inspiration from him. You don't scare me. I yeah, but he's actually gonna... This high. Yeah, but you don't know him that well, apparently, because he's gonna actually kill you. Dude, she's fearless, but, like, he's gonna kill you. <laughs> now, tell me the truth. Did you have anything to do with that mess in town? Oh. Oh, you gonna kill me? Dude, she is too fearless. <laughs> Just like I thought, you couldn't have possibly killed those people. You don't have the guts. Shut your pie hole door. Oh, she's right. I think she's she's actually right. He won't do it. Maybe. Damn. I hate you, Dora. She knows it better than I thought. Wow. The freaks. They're everywhere. Even when I close my eyes, I still see them. Give me the heebie-jeebies. You won't believe what I ran into today. Excuse me. I thought customers weren't allowed back here. Well, they're not. She's one of us. This is her way of getting inside, yeah. That's what she was, that's what she was doing, okay. We hit the jackpot! So they're trying to kidnap them, kill them, and then sell them, like, their body parts and the, 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 the organs? That's fucked up. You never said anything about murder. I'm not spending the rest of my life in jail. Nobody cares what happens to a freak. Damn. I hope she changes her mind here because I don't I don't want her to do this. I gotta go. <laughs> look, you look like a nice Christian girl. Take my advice. Stop hanging around with troublemakers. What he did? He, he, well, I mean, he did, he did kill someone before, but the, <laughs> he doesn't know about that. So aren't you missing something? A sword. You mean his penis? I don't know if that was supposed to be like a metaphor or something. I don't, I <laughs> the, the Viking helmet's kind of interesting, I guess. <laughs> Holy Christ. What? Does he have two of them or something? I don't know. Either it was just really big or there's two of them. I don't... <laughs> I, I don't fucking know, bro. I swear, Dragna is going to be the downfall. Dude, they keep talking about Dragnet. I don't know what that is. Is this Dandy inside the house right now, or is it the killer clown? Hey, oh. Get it back. Oh shit. The killer clown is there. Come on, little girl, scream! She's in shock. What happened? Where's your brother? The clown took him. Damn. Now there's gonna be three people in that abandoned bus in the woods. You're 20 minutes late. We've decided it's a bad idea. You never know what could summon Mr. Mordrake. Even a rehearsal is risky business. You carnies are so superstitious. They're not concerned about Mordrake. I'm trying to of tell you- Of course they're not. Simply a superstition. You two run along now. A clairvoyant has sworn to me that a very important gentleman will be arriving very soon to reinvigorate my career. Is the doctor guy gonna pretend to be this person? I don't know. I have been a star for decades now. You are nothing but a two-headed freak stumbling Damn. around the stage. I hope it does summon the ghost. That'd be <laughs> interesting. Oh, she's gonna think this is the man, right? So it wasn't just a superstition though. <laughs>
A lot of good music in this season. So many good songs so far. What? Right when she stopped, he just disappeared? Who's that? I guess it's just a ghost. Probably ghosts of who died from the, um, what's his name again? Something Tim Drake? I don't, I don't remember. That's the title of the episode. Edward Moore Drake. It's probably just the ghost of the people who died from him. My companion startled you. A good all Hallows Eve to you, madam. <laughs> we are here and cannot leave this place until we have added to our coterie of freakish companions. So he's gonna start killing people? You say companions, you, you mean victims. It is not in my heart to make you or anyone else a victim, my good woman. But the visage is unrelenting. You can't take me with you. There's so much I have left to do. Would that it were in my power to grant reprieve. But if the vile countenance that judges you a pure freak, corrupted of flesh, befouled of soul, there can be no petition. Yes, you are vile, vile and malevolent. <laughs> So his other face doesn't talk out loud, it just talks in his head. There are questions which must be asked. You were not always in such a degraded state as this. You have fallen. The story of your fall, it would hear it from your own mouth. I'd surround myself with the prettiest girls I could find, and then I'd dare the audience to look at anything but me. And they love me for it. That was the biggest thing to come out of Baltimore since Wallace Simpson. You know, she landed herself a monarch. I ended up with something else. Oh, there's Strongman, Dell. I keep calling him Strongman. <laughs> I think maybe he really, really did love me at first. When you returned to the States, what happened? We were penniless. I was carrying Dell's child. We couldn't find corny work. Dell arranged. Different kind of comedian performance. Step right up, folks. It's the marvel of the century. A live freak birth. That is really strange. Look at his hands, it's a monster! Oh. Two bits! No, no, Told no. the monster baby! How could I have done that to him? He's never known anything but exploitation right from the Damn. start. This episode is going deep. Especially with her more than anyone. I think she solidified herself as the best character. But she better not die though. I don't want her being killed. The best character being taken from us this soon? Hell no. Thank you. For your pains, dear lady. Those are all the other companions he calls them. Don't tell- no. I'm ready. Shit! You came me to hell with you. I deserve it. Not the one. Oh, well, shit. I guess she's not going to be killed then. That's good. <laughs> I was getting so ready for it there. Just like she was. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick. Oh my god. Too short. Oh, fuck off with this bullshit. I hope the clown just kills Dandy. <laughs> yeah, they're bringing in this kid now. Is the clown just doing this because he wants people to watch his show and he, he can force them? I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. Very interesting episode. Uh, I would say it's probably the best episode thus far. I, I really, really, really enjoy the stuff there with Ethel. I think Ethel is the best character in this uh, season so far. She, she's just got a really interesting story to her. She's got a really, especially what she was explaining there. She's got a lot of shame um, over things she's done in the past. But she's, I don't know, she's just really interesting. Uh, then, of course, we have this more Drake guy. And he had that long conversation with her. And honestly, the way it was building up, I really thought she was about to die. So I felt it, but thankfully it didn't happen. We also have El Esmeralda and the other doctor guy. Uh, they got this whole plan going on, which, like I said, I hope they do some interesting stuff with that in the future. I hope Esmeralda kind of, like, changes a bit. That would be, a, I think, a good storyline to go. And there's more complications between Dot and Betty. And then, obviously, you have Elsa, who's still just obsessing over the fact that she needs to be a star 
kind of reminds me of the Pearl movie a bit, <laughs> you know, just, just how that movie played out. But very good stuff here. Really, really enjoying this. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you want to see the full reaction, that'll be my Patreon. That link to that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.